sent you out an email uh, with two photos in it. We would like you to put both those photos in those when you talk about this, this case. Uh, we want the, the original photo that was put out earlier, and we also want the composite photo. Uh, so please, when you're putting out your information, we would like all that on there, please. Introduce a few people that are standing behind me before we get started here. You got Lieutenant Tom McKee from the Indiana State Police Post at Lafayette. Jeff Liggett, or Tony, Tony Liggett, sorry, uh, from the Delphi, excuse me, Carroll County Sheriff's Department. I'll get this right here in a minute. Um, Kevin, Hammond. Kevin Hammond from the uh, Carroll. Carroll County Sheriff's Department. Jerry Holman from the Indiana State Police Detectives out of the Lafayette State Police Post. And Tony Slocum, he's a public information officer out of the Peru Post. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about uh, the release that was put out. Uh, so I'm just basically going to open it up to questions. I will tell you now that most of the information that you have in the news release is about all that can be released at this time. So there's not going to be anything else real uh, exciting, I guess would be the word, that's going to be put out there. But I'll be more than happy to take questions and we'll go from there. How did, you, how did artists develop this sketch? Was the sketch made with the help of eyewitness or eyewitnesses, or was it made solely from the other picture we've seen so often? Basically, I, I can't really answer that question uh, completely. I can tell you it, it came from the investigation itself, from, from officers looking uh, into things, uh, to tips and leads that have come in, uh, that people that have come forward, we've got information from there, and the, the, the composite was put together with that, with that information. Why release the sketch today? Did it just finished? Have other people already seen this, including the family, and now it's just the right time to release it? Uh, this picture was released at this time because that's when we felt it, that it needed to come out. That the information needs to be put forward, and we wanted to get it out there so people can look at it. Uh, and, it and it has, again, it has just taken a while to get this thing put together, and that's why it's taken so long to get the picture out. In the realm of evidence and leads that you have, how big is this photograph? How much are you counting on this, this artist sketch or the photograph of the sketch? I mean, it's like anything else in a case. Uh, anytime we get something new or, or some information out there, we, we always feel it's important to the case. We feel this is very important because it actually gives a better view of the, uh, the per person in the picture that you see down below. Uh, it shows a little more facial features, gives you a little more information on what uh, we're looking at, who the suspect might be, and that's why we feel it is very important that this picture is out there at this time. What's so striking about this? What is, what is the thing that investigators look at and say, wow, that's the thing that's going to make this guy stand out from all the other men walking around? It's basically just a clear picture of his face compared to what you saw down below. We've got the information out there, the pictures out there. Now we've got this composite that uh, we feel that, that is the same. We, feel it is the same person and we just want to make sure that people realize that that picture is, is this person we're hoping and that uh, they can get that picture and take that picture and, and uh, get us some information on a possible suspect. How confident are you that it's accurate? Uh, we're pretty confident uh, the information that was received uh, with that information we've been able to put that together. Uh, again, this thing wasn't drawn up overnight. Uh, we've been working with this picture uh, and, and uh, with, the, with the suspects that we've, or excuse me, the the uh, witnesses that we have that uh, would put this together. So it's not something that we did overnight. This has taken a while to put together. Those witnesses, did they see them in the area? Did they call the tip line with that information? I really can't go into that because we don't want to compromise the case itself. But when you say witnesses, so multiple people were able to help you out with this? Yeah. There was people that were able to help us out with this, yes. Okay. So a lot of people will say you guys are releasing this now because you've run out of leads. That's not true in this case, right? No, we're still getting anywhere from five to 10 tips a day. Uh, we're still getting emails, so it's not something that is just, that this case is not dried up, it's not a cold case, this, this case is still very active. If you didn't have those tips, we may never have seen this picture in the first place, right? Other uh, possibility, yes. What's, what's the attitude of the troops working uh, on this? I mean, the fact that there's a composite that's infinitely clearer than the picture we've been looking at, I mean, what's the move? What is the feeling among investigators who've been grinding away at this for five months? Well, anytime you get new information, officers are always excited about that information. It, it, it kind of builds up their confidence on the case itself. Uh, with this information here, we're really, it, you know, it, it really excites them, lets them know that, you know, people are still caring about this case, that people are still interested. And when we can get somebody to uh, come forward with more information, uh, if we can get a name or at least a location of this subject, that would be great. But officers have never really gotten down on this case. I think they've um, frustrated maybe, but as far as uh, solving this thing, it's something that's never, we've always felt like we we're going to solve this case. 
who made the sketch ISP? Did you guys bring somebody specific in here to talk to those witnesses to come up with the exact look of this person? Or it's it it's basically just been a combination of all the departments have come together and we've put this, this uh, composite together. Now in the release you talk about not to focus on the hat. It might not be accurate. Can you talk a little bit about that so people at home know why? Well, they if you see the, the original picture down below, uh, it, it appears that he's got a hat on that's got the flaps down over the, uh, kind of down over the face. We want to make sure that you focus on the picture. We want to make sure the face is what you're looking at and not to worry about the hat. Even though that hat does not, is not quite the same as the one in the picture, we want the facial features is what we want you to look at. If someone did recognize this person, what should they do? They can call the t excuse me, they can call the tip line or they can email us. In the release you mentioned some of exactly like his hair color and things like that. Can you talk about that information that you put in the release right now? Uh, basically, uh, the hair color is, is a reddish brown. Uh, she was, uh, or the person was not clear on the color um, of the eyes, but she, the person said it was definitely not blue. She was very, ob uh, the person was very obvious that it was not blue eyes, but they uh, did mention that they were not clear on which color it was. So there are people out there who are sure that they saw this guy walking around that day and they helped you out. Is that mm -hmm. fair to say? Okay. Um, yeah, pretty much, that's what, what it is, yes. Those people come forward right away, or did it take a little bit of time for those people to come forward? It's it, it's been a while. Uh, it took a little bit. Uh, people are scared, they're afraid to, to be uh, to be recognized by by the subject. So it, it just it just takes a while for these things to happen. Uh, like I said, the picture didn't come overnight. Uh, we've been working on this for a while. Do you think this guy is still around the Delphi area? Do you think he's in a different state? That's what I hope this is all about. So we've heard many times that somebody out there probably knows something and is really driving on the point today to make sure you call no matter how little it may be, even especially if you recognize this person? That's what we want. We want people to call in, give us information. Uh, anybody that, that can give us an identification on this subject or knows where the subject might be, that would be great. We would appreciate any information we can get. So still have that voice, now you have an even closer picture and you have this other. So three really pieces of solid evidence that you have that people can work with. So that's got to be big development today for the community and for the That family. is correct. We're, we're really, really excited about the information that's being put out there. Uh, the detectives and all the investigators are involved are, are just basically waiting for the phone rings. Will any more information or video be released from the cell phone that will be had that day? Uh, there was, I'm not going to comment on that. I don't want to compromise that case. Just to be clear, um, do you know this man's identity and you're not releasing it, or are you, you don't know this guy's identity? We want to know who he is. Okay. Do you think someone in Carroll County, and I know you said that's the point of today, but do you think somebody around this area knows who he is and will possibly call in? We're hoping somebody knows from wherever, wherever. we don't care where it's from. We just want to be able to find somebody that can identify this subject and give us the information on him. Search warrants that are going to come now that you've released this person's picture. Anything else developing after you put his picture out there today? Well, we just we got to just do the investigation at that point in time, see what happens. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Still, if you want to do your live shot in here, you can. Uh, obviously, somebody up here. What's our IFB, Bill? What's the IFB? Okay, can we stand back far enough so everybody gets?